Tired of manually testing your Power BI reports after each update? This automated QA technique will save you hours and hours of manual labor while catching errors you might miss. Let's dive right in. Hello, hello. My name is Maxim, and I specialize in Power BI, Data Analytics, and Microsoft Fabric. And now, back to the video. We'll write two unit tests. One, to check whether report refreshed, and second, to check some specific value for specific metric to make sure that data is still present in the data set and calculation still works as expected. Let's go to Dax query review and see what we will be working with. Now, those are my unit tests. As you can see here, first one is refresh today. It's checking for whether report has refreshed. And the second uh, unit test tracks specific values for uh, electricity access, rural and urban. I'll walk you through the code, and at the end of the video, we'll set up Power Automate automation to run those tests on a daily basis and send you notification with unit test results on a daily basis in your inbox. First variable here is base tests. Here, you define all of your tests that you will have in your list. It's a simple union statement where you create few rows with multiple columns. First column, test name, and you define your test name, refresh today. Second column, expected result. In this case, it's either true or false. In most cases, you will want it true. And the third column is your expected value. First, let me walk you through the simpler test where you check in that report refreshed today. Usually for that, you will have last refresh date table in your data set. And I have it here with one last refresh date time column. We'll be checking that that date is updating once report refreshes. Let me go back to Dax Query View. So here I'm specifying my expected value. It is UTC today, which will provide you with uh, date and time, and I'm formatting it just into date. I don't want time. Let's proceed to the next step. Test with actuals. Here I would like to add a few extra columns to the previous data set, which I created here with my list of tests and expected results. Therefore, I'm specifying here base tests. And I'm adding two more columns, actual value and actual. The difference between the two is that actual provides just true or false as the result, while actual value shows the value itself. Let me walk you through again. Currently, we're working with refresh today example. Here, I'm doing for actual value switch statement running through each test in our previous data set. And for refresh today, what I'm doing is I'm taking the last refresh date time value. I'm truncating time and I'm formatting it into year, months, date. Next column I'm adding is actual. Here I'm doing comparisons already. And I'm doing if statement. If my last refresh date date is the same as UTC today. And if our ref report refresh today, those should match, those dates should match. I'm returning true, otherwise I'm returning false. Let me move on to the next step. And again, I'm using add columns I'm using previous data set that we created with actuals or previous table that we created with actuals. I'm adding a new column, which is called result. And it's a simple comparison. Again, simple if. If my actual equals to expected and again, for the most part, for the expected, you will have true. However, in some cases, you might expect that it will be false. That's why this additional step. Otherwise, you could have used the previous step. 
However, if actual equals to expected, I'm returning pass. Otherwise, I'm returning fail. And this is your unit test. Second unit test is a bit harder to do because it involves actual calculations against data set, using measures, etc. Therefore, let me go back to the report. And let's say I want to check this visual that this calculation works correctly, rural and urban. Here it returns per percentages. But what I want to check is actual values. The easiest way to do so is go to performance analyzer. Let me clear it, start recording and click ref and refresh this visual. You'll have row here and you can open it in DAX query view. Here you will see all of the filters that, that are applied to that visual, either page level, visual level or otherwise. And it already ran. We have the results here and that's what we'll want to test. That with these conditions, with these filters, this measure will return these results. Let's come up with unit test for this. First, we'll just scan for all of the filters. So we have year filter, great, we'll have to account for that. We have continent filter, we'll have to account for that as well, Asia. Uh, do we have any more? I don't think so. And this is the measure that we want to test. Percent access to electricity. Let's go back to unit tests and allow me to walk you through. So what we have here, second test. Asia 2010, electricity access. We expect that numbers will match. True. An expected value, I'm here specifying that for rural, I'm expecting this number. And for urban, I'm expecting 0.9, whatever. Since those are decimal numbers, likely they're much larger. What we want to do is actually round it up a bit. In this case, I've decided to do three decimal points. And I specify my two results, rural and urban. Let's proceed to the next step. I'm doing calculate statement here. I'm running this measure, access to electricity, and I need to return the same format as we specified here in expected value. Therefore, I'm doing another measure which combines both results into text string. Rural, here I'm formatting to three decimal points, as I mentioned, and I'm concatenating urban results as well. In the end, I'm getting the same text string as you see here. And since for actual I need to return true or false, what I'm doing here in return statement, I'm comparing this text string that I just created against expected value string, which I have here. By doing so, it will return either true or false if they match or do not match. Once you create all of your tests, you will get table like this. Table which lists all of your tests, expected results, true or false, expected value, whether date or whatever you have here, actual value that you're getting while running your uh, test, whether they're true or false, and clear indication in the end whether it passed or not. However, those tests are self-contained within Power BI Desktop. You can use them while you develop to periodically run and see whether some regression has occurred while you were developing, changing uh, measures, uh, model, whatnot. But what you also want to do is likely run those tests on a production report. And to do so, let's switch to Power Automate. I will do flow from scratch so you see the whole thing. So you will add new flow. You probably want to run it every morning during the day, up to you. And 
I'll call it unit tests. I'll set up to run, I don't know, at 3 a.m. every day and press create. Here, what I want to do first is to add Power BI step. And let me click more. And what you want to choose here is run a query against the data set. Here, you will have to select your workspace. In my case, it's YouTube data set. In my case, it's unit tests. And for query text, we'll just copy paste the query that we created in Power BI Desktop. So let's go here, let's copy paste. Let's come back here and paste it. You'll likely want to receive notification once those tests are run in your inbox. Makes sense. So let's add a few more steps. We want to make table from this, create HTML table. And here for the array, specify first table rows from our Power BI step. And let's add one more to send email. Send email. Outlook in the body put output of your create HTML table step specify who do you want to send it to let's say I will send it to my Gmail for subject you likely want to specify that it's unit test results and probably date. So let's do function. We want to use UTC. UTC now, okay. And we want to format it as year, months, days. In this case, unlike in Power BI, you have to use two capital M's. Create and let's close. And this is our function and we can save it and run the test. Let's see, what does it want? Oh, let's close it. save it, and we can run a test. Test runs successfully, and this is type of email you will be receiving on a daily basis with unit test result. And therefore, if something goes wrong, you will see it right away and can react quickly and keep your customers or stakeholders happy. That's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.